Which is wary and pulls out his pistol. Fortunately, it's only a laborer who comes. He warmly invites Butch to spend the night at his home, which he thinks about and doesn't refuse. The next morning, as soon as the two of them woke up from their sleep, there was a hot breakfast. All the fatigue from days of fleeing was swept away. The little boy was their grandson, and the family had lived here for a long time. Everything had been fine, and as soon as the old man came home, he asked his grandson to go and help with his things. Hey, you can't hear me or something? God give the father blushed. He hated people who hit children, but it didn't snap now. After breakfast, he played a game with the little boy, and in the meantime danced with his wife. Mr. Paul, you sure can move. Well, I ought to be able to. I was raised in a diamond dance whorehouse. You're a fool, little man. No, ma'am. Meanwhile, the old man was listening to the news in the restroom, and he learned the identity of Butch Fugitive. He rushes out and wants his grandson to stay away from Butch, but the boy is having so much fun that it doesn't hear him. Butch was just about to leave when he grabbed the boy. The sound of the slap instantly ignites Butch's anger, and he knocks the old man to the ground with a single punch, then angrily confronts him. You want to go hit Cleveland? Huh? He move fast enough for you? Is that it? Huh? Maybe he gets excited sometimes. He don't hear everything you say. The old man is too frightened to speak, but Butch doesn't let up. He finds ropes to tie the man up and tries to kill him. Butch realized that the pistol was gone. Butch was about to say something when the boy tearfully pulled the trigger. He was shot and fell to the ground. While the boy broke down and ran away, Butch dragged his badly wounded body to try to catch up. But looking at the bound family, he pulls out his pocket knife again and steps towards them. However, he doesn't do anything. Butch followed the boy's trail slowly, trying to explain something, but the boy probably couldn't hear him. I've only killed two people in my whole life. One hurt my mama. One hurt you. Meanwhile, the police got the message and quickly surrounded the place. Butch came to a tree he could no longer walk under. Still not holding back, the boy went over and helped him up. Without waiting for the police to start negotiating, he pulled Butch one step at a time towards this side. I've seen it all now. The sheriff also dropped his weapon and met him with his bare hands. He had expected Butch to negotiate some terms, but he didn't expect him to ask for anything. With that he was about to pull out his treasure postcard, but in the eyes of the police, he was trying to get a weapon. The gun went off, and the man who had been strong all his life fell to the ground. He made up for the boy's incomplete childhood with a spontaneous and dashing escape that was his own redemption. 